Hi guys, it's Rue here from Prepare Camping and today I'm going to be expanding on a couple of recent videos I did on basic fire lighting and tinders. Uh, so I'm going to be using some cotton wool today and a ferro rod and to show how we, you know, whilst this is the first step mo many people use in their fire lighting kit, how we can help this by adding accelerants. Now it's going to be very difficult to do this under extremely scientific uh, standards but I'll start by at least starting with the same size cotton wool pad uh, for each experiment and I'll be doing three different burns and comparing them at the end. So let's start with this one. So here we see that it burns quite well, there's, there's nothing added to this, this is just purely just the cotton wool pad and you know this would be brilliant, this would get most fires going no bother. But a, um, a very well publicised hack, I suppose you call it, is to add some Vaseline to these to the cotton wool balls. So that's what we'll do for our second burn. So the plain cotton wool had a burn time of 48 seconds, which was pretty decent actually, just, just for a cotton wool pad, but obviously that will vary on how much cotton wool, what size pad you're using or ball or whatever like that. So for this second experiment, um, obviously I'll be using the exact same size pad again, but this time I'll be adding a couple of little dabs of Vaseline and they'll act as additional fuel to the fire so this should be a more aggressive flame and potentially longer lasting so let's see what happens Like I said, I don't know exactly how much I'm using here, but you know, a couple of little dots that'll do the job. So as you can see there, it's a much more powerful flame. It's it's, it's much more aggressive burn than the uh, the cotton wool was by itself without the added Vaseline, so it, it's worth doing just for that alone, even if it doesn't last any longer, because that would help if you say if your kindling was a bit damp or something like that. And you can really, you can actually quite smell it as well as it's burning. It, it, it you know, the the plain cotton wool, there's no scent at all. Whereas with this, you can you can smell the petroleum in the jelly burning. And of course, Vaseline is a great thing to keep in your kit. Anyhow, it's got lots of other uses. You know, you can use it for dry skin, cracked lips, all that sort of stuff. To uh, to cover minor burns if if you if your fire lighting goes wrong to stop you know prevent infections and things So that was quite a good result actually, uh, not only did it burn much more aggressively, but it lasted a lot longer as well. Uh, the burn time there was 1 minute 41 seconds. So the plain cotton wool pad at 48 seconds compared to 1 minute and 41 seconds, that's, that's more than double the burn time. So not only is it more aggressive burn, but it's over twice the length as well. So it's definitely worth adding some Vaseline to your cotton wool if you're going to be using that in your fire kit. So now let's move on to the pseudogram. 
this is most commonly used to treat nappy rash in babies here in the UK and uh, I remember when Finn was born we were given several tubs of this for free um, but it's a, it's great you know it's, it's a great little um, product it's it's excellent if you've got eczema uh, spots you can treat that burns you know it's an antiseptic it's got a mild anesthetic so it's good for insect stings and bites and everything as well so it, it's a really good product so let's see how that works because obviously this has paraffin in it as well and wax beeswax so this will also work as a good accelerant now as we see it's not as large a flame as what the petroleum jelly gave but it's still better than the plain cotton wool pad was and I was expecting this because sadly there's been many instances of people that use this for various uh, wound treatments and, and things like that, chill blames and stuff, elderly people that often feel the cold and they get near fires and things and before you know it, unfortunately they set fire to themselves. And as you can imagine with something like this over here, that's not good. But it happens quite a lot sadly. Just with the uh, Vaseline as well, you can you can smell this burning. And actually, it smells a lot nicer. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the wax that's in it or something like that, but uh, it, it smells a lot more pleasant than the, the Vaseline did. And like I say, you can see here, it, it's not as large a flame as what the Vaseline produced, but it's definitely seeming to last a lot longer. So it's now actually lasted longer than what the Vaseline did. So, like I say, not as powerful a flame, but it's much longer lasting. So that and its additional properties and additional uses, I would argue that Pseudocrim is actually a better use in your fire kit if you want to use an accelerant for cotton wool for fire starting than Vaseline is. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, but on this evidence, I think it, it's quite proven. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys, until next time, take care.